I'm Gary Holt, and I'm playing my guitar, but uh, you can own it too. Uh, this is the LTD version, and um, it's as good as any guitar I ever owned, you know, back in the day. You know, I mean, the customs are just, that's a next level of superiority, but what I wouldn't have done back in the 80s to like be able to walk in the store and spend $900 to get a guitar this good, you know, in the early 80s, you know, we Frankensteined everything together, you know, much like a, we were poor kids and we couldn't afford like back then, you know, like a Gibson or something. So we'd get like three Strat copies and one would have a good neck and one would have a good body and the other had good electronics and we'd make one guitar out of it. But, um, you know, you'd buy cheap guitars and the frets were terrible. You know, you had to have the frets milled down flat and even. And, and now, you know, you can walk in and walk out with something this badass, you know. I love it. So ESP was very cool about taking your uh, specifications into, into play when they made these guitars. I would yeah, yeah. I wanted the Les Paul scale, you know, a little slinkier. Um, the, the Eclipse body, you know. Everybody goes, why'd you stop playing Vs, you know? But I only played Vs for like, primarily in the early 2000s, you know? I, just, I played Strats most of my life, you know? Yeah, yeah. And I'm a classic rock guy, you know? And I, I like them, you know? It's like kind of that Jimmy Page, John Sykes, Thin Lizzy vibe, you know? It's, it's almost a sexy vibe, but in a rock and roll kind of Yeah, it is, it is. Plus, you know, it appeals to more than just your local black metal, death metal, thrash metal guy, you know? It's like, you know, if you're a rock guitar player, who wouldn't want to play this? It's totally killer, you know? It's got really great visuals, you know? And the red binding, yeah. Red pickups, yeah, you know? And, um, you know, it's all mahogany, set neck, and uh, 22 frets. I don't like 24 fret guitars. As long as I can go from that to... Uh, you know, that's as, that's as far as I need to go. <laughs> Anything beyond that is just work. Record. I've never played this guitar before in my life till, <laughs> till five minutes ago. That's how good they are. They're fucking awesome. It's like killer. Um, it's literally off the wall. <laughs> Action's a little low for my taste, but hey, it, that's a sign of a good guitar, though. Absolutely. I mean, there's, the frets are perfect. I just like it a little higher. But um, yeah, it's right off the wall. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
strings are nice and stretched in, that's for sure. <laughs> Guitar. Nice. Go, yeah. I mean, you know, I could go walk in any store like I did today and <laughs> pick one up off the wall. It is actually totally functional. I mean, you know, like I said, I'd, I'd raise the action up because I, like I like to fight it a little bit more. Um, but killer fucking guitar. <laughs> I haven't tuned 440 in a million years either. <laughs> Sounds all bright you know, and high. How, how, tuned, how far down do you guys tune? Uh, with Slayer, we tune a quarter step down, you know, E flat, and Exodus, we tune a full step down. Okay, know, so. okay. Yeah, this is like, I haven't tuned to this tuning since, you know, 1985. It's probably yeah. making your ears hurt. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's killer. I like it, you know, like, you know, it's like bright, and the chords really shimmer out, you know, it's just uh, different, you know? Mm -hmm. 